and welcome back to the Gallagher Shots YouTube channel. I'm Aaron and I'm back with another FIFA 19 prediction video and this time we're playing Burnley. Again, it's at home. It's a, it's quite soon after the Huddersfield game, to be honest. It's on Tuesday night. So, I the team, let's just dive straight into it. I think it's going to be very similar, if not the same, in, in what I've gone for here. Um, why break up a winning team? I don't think... I don't think there's any need to do it. Everyone played brilliantly, so why why change that up? You might move around uh, Almiron Perez, and I, I don't I don't know. I, I don't really see what he can change. I think most of that team is fairly undroppable at the minute, to be honest. Um, potentially brings Dummett in, um, but then does he take Richie away from that? Because Richie hasn't put a foot wrong really, aside from <laughs> getting away with murder. Uh, with his challenge against Huddersfield, but um, aside from that, honestly, how how do you drop half the players on that team? You, you just can't. So, yep, the team will be set up as as is there. So Dubravka and Net got Richie left back, Le, Lejeune, Lascelles, Shars playing across the back, Yedlin uh, is the right wing back, and then you've got Almiron who I put I put him there, but you you know you'll roam around the left. Got Longstaff in the middle, Hayden. Then Perez and Rondon up top with Perez sort of slotting in behind. Just basically, whatever you've seen against Huddersfield is exactly what I think uh, will go down on, on Tuesday. Well, I'm hoping it does anyway because none of those lads deserve to be dropped. Anyway, enough of me rambling on. Let's get into the action. Right then, Burnley, St. James's Park. It's a bit <laughs> a bit light for 8 o'clock, like, but um, never mind. It's it's a, it's only a game, isn't it? Um, yeah, not sure what to expect from this one. It's, Huddersfield's one of those classic games where, you know, obviously we we played really well. I think we actually played better in the first half when they had eleven men, but that tends to be the case because obviously the second someone goes down to ten men, it's just like everyone just throws throws themselves behind the ball. Um, oh, you fucker! Um, so I just don't know what to expect with Burnley. Just as a team themselves and how we're going to play as well. Probably going to be knackered after after playing another game in quite quick succession. But look, you know, you never know. And I think we we can get too carried away with like results against a team like Huddersfield, who oh oh that's bad. Who we should be beating, really, you know, on paper, based on the table, we should be beating them anyway. So, but I think the performance was. Sublime. I'm hoping for something really similar against Burnley. I think we need to go out on the attack. So we did have a pop son. Oh, I tell you what, he deserved a goal against Huddersfield. He was absolutely class when he clattered the post. Like, oh, honestly, I've never wanted someone to score more. Well, maybe Almiron when he chipped the ball. But aside from that, I think that place would have erupted if Longstaff had got a goal. Like, but it, it, it's it's coming. I think he's he's, he's due one. I wouldn't be surprised if he got one against Burnley. I wouldn't be surprised if any of the lads got one against Burnley. The way that they've been playing with like a lot of confidence. I think Almiron's lifted the team actually a little bit. I think... Look, I'm probably... Like most Newcastle fans, a record signing comes in, which we haven't seen in years. Obviously, we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves, but genuinely, I said this in my previous video, just his creativity and willingness to get in the ball has just freed up so many other players and has made other players more confident as well, I think. I think, oh, you arsehole, not him. I think now players want to get on the ball more. It's it's weird, the, the shift in the team. And again, now it was only Huddersfield, but the, the, something was just different um, about the team. Go on, Hayden. Oh! Anyway, um, I've, I still haven't really got over my hangover from the Huddersfield game. I, I keep every time we beat someone and beat someone well, I've been going out, and then halfway through the night I'm like, "Why haven't we, why haven't we beat Huddersfield?" Or it was Cardiff was the last one when I went out and got absolutely sloshed, and I was like, "Well, why haven't we beat Cardiff? Like, what's going on?" But you, you got to you got to celebrate when you can, don't you? Really. Anyway. Let's focus on this game. I'm hoping that this is a better better watch for you than the last prediction video, which was a, the most boring nil-nil you've ever seen. I think already there's been more chances created, so uh, fingers crossed 
it's not as shite. Mind you, I didn't get any, I didn't get any horrific comments saying get good or fuck off or whatever, whatever else trolls say. All right. I probably should just let that go out for a goal kick, like. Oh, God. It's weird as well, when I'm talking about that confidence, they, when they started passing it around again with a back four, I wasn't worried, which is unusual, because I'd normally be freaking out when they start doing it. But I really wasn't too fussed. They were really confident on the ball. No one seemed to flap around or, or anything like that. It was It was good to see. Right, no. Just to come back to Longstaff again as well, by the way, it's it's meant to see some of the praise that he's getting from like from decent pundits and players. Uh like Lineker is raving about him every week. He's not a good pundit or but at all really well. He's alright, but the stuff he said about Newcastle in the past has irked us. But Jermaine Genus uh has been raving about him as well. And it's good. I, I hope he gets uh he gets the credit he deserves because he's been absolutely sublime for us. Don't think we've been in the position that we are in now without him. Right, get it the fucking way then. Win. That's the one, right? Break, break, break. Oh, beat him to that, man. Not hidden. Oh, you fuck. That's the one. I was like, can I see you're going to send him. Ah, and again, Longstaff, he's just desperate for it, man. Keeps pulling the trigger. Win, 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 win. Uh, well, there's already been more chances than me last one, so I can't really complain. Like, I will reiterate the same point I reiterate all the time as well. It's on world class, so if you can have a go, is you can fuck off because it's on world class and it's not as easy as it looks. <gasps> fuck. Oh, fuck, I've passed it. Oh, what a cock. Oh, my word. That, uh, that would have been a typical, typical me finish to that half, like. <sighs> I'll say it. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Things can only get better. That was a poor half, that, but, uh, oh, God. I, I'll, Honestly, I promise you, I'll book my ideas on the second half. Please stick around. Don't don't leave, okay? Right. I promise you entertainment, and entertainment is what you're going to get. I'm going to go attacking. I'm going to go for the jugular. Balls out the bath. Let's just have it. Let's be having you. That might just be my eyes, but... I honestly thought their their right back there was one of our players. That's who I was going for there. Right, that's the one. Ah, come on. I think we just need one decent chance, you know, and that's going to be it. There we go. Ah, oh, you fucker. Oh, Almiron. Oh, dear. What a lush little shimmy that was. Have it. Oh, dear me. That was that was as close as it gets without hitting the port. Fucking hell. Words are hard, you know. Without hitting the post. Told you, man, that hangover's still, still just there, me mouth. You know, you know that scene in uh, me, myself, and Irene when he's choking for a drink. I've stupidly started filming this without having a drink of water and my mouth. Oh, it's dry as out. It's like I've ate sand. Oh man, he was away there. If that ball goes through, I get you not on that. Class. Mint? No, not mint. No, not good at all. Don't, don't bite. Oh dear. Hey, defensively, this is alright, this, you know. 
Oh, that's not. Oh my god, I spoke so soon. Oh, dearing me. Okay, right. Well, don't do that. Eh? Ah, oh, you little shit. What? Why has he not got that? Nah, no. Just stand him up. No worries, no worries. No worries. Right. Sorry, take one of the dick for the team. There you go. Good lad. Good lad. Right, I'm gonna make make a sub. Gonna make a sub. Don't know who I'm taking off like. Hmm. Stick the double on instead of instead of Richie. Just to, I mean, he would not be clapping if he was coming off in the sixty seventh minute. Like he'd be going absolutely do lally. But taking him off just because I don't know. I want to be. I don't need a reason. Don't ask Rafa, do you? No, I simply put, I don't think Richie was doing enough attacking-wise. Yeah, a fucking overlap, man. Mind you, Richie might have done more there. Fucking arsehole. Don't just stand in there. Fucking overlap, man. <laughs> Shouting in a virtual player, you know. Oh, dear. This is going to end in tears, this. Oh, we're fucking shooting boots like that. You got Toblerones on your feet, like. And I was, it's Aaron Lennon. I forgot he was still there. Uh, alive, like. I wonder if, you, you know, when a player just starts drifting between clubs, like a player like Aaron Lennon or like, you know, Jermaine Defoe does it. Do you reckon they like know that they're like past it when they just start like going to here, there, everywhere and then before they know it, they're at like Peterborough. And they're like, how the fuck did I end up here? Like I was playing the Premier League two years ago. Must be a horrible feeling, like just an oh my god. Whoa! Hey, how are you? He, he didn't even get a card for that, you know. Oh man, a little bit higher, and that's through. Come on. What a good feeling, yeah. Oh, dirty fucking cock. Aye, I'll tell you what, bringing Dummett on was not a stroke of genius. Right. Easy as you like that. Good man. That's a one. Right. Oh, just let it gun out, you dickhead. Gonna be another fucking nil nil in it. No, nah. <sighs> fucking hell. Typical list, like. Absolutely typical. If they score, I'm gonna go and fucking berserk. Nah. Oh, how weird. Am I? I'm losing subscribers with this. This is shit. Oh, how way. Oh, dear Lord, another fucking nil-nil, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait for the second week in a row. I apologize. I, I'm so sorry. But remember, this is a prediction video. It's not about me winning. So, I, that's, that's the prediction, right? That's what's going to happen on Tuesday, remember? It's not my fault. Blame Rafa, right? <laughs> okay? Christ almighty. Oh, what a joke. So, 
another classic there, as I think you'll agree. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I promise you a better second half, and I really haven't delivered. It's uh, it's another nil nil. But look, like I said, this is a prediction video. Blame Rafa and the lads. Not what we're doing with me. This is what the, this is what the score is going to be on Tuesday. Remember, so put all your money on this. Um, disclaimer: If you lose all your money, it ain't my fault. It's FIFA's fault and Newcastle's fault. So, um, fairly even game though. In fairness, look, I mean, six shots, two on target for each. Not that I remember any of them. Like it was a shit game, but a point is probably a fair result. Would I take a point against Burnley at this stage in the season? Probably not. But in the grand scheme of things, I'd, I, I think a point you can't grumble with a point. Um, against anyone in the Premier League, it's better than losing. So, I anyway, fingers crossed. Obviously, fingers crossed in these videos, but it's because shit like this is so dismal. But I will see it again. Fingers crossed. This does not happen on Tuesday. Hopefully, it's another. We, we, we spank another team at home. I say spank. Why would it be? I just feel two nil. <laughs> you know what I mean. Hopefully, we beat Burnley at home. Hopefully. The likes of Longstaff, and I really, really keep my fingers crossed that Almiron gets the goal that he so richly deserves. And then fingers crossed again, I can go out on the lash and uh, roll into work on Wednesday with a starting hangover. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> um, if you are absolutely bonkers and you like this for some reason, um, then please uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with everyone you know. Uh, mainly your enemies because you know you'd, who would want to be subjected to this absolute dross um but until next time i'll see you later